Alright guys, so I posted that video up yesterday and I realized I wanted to go over my drum routing a little bit more in depth. Um, there's some things I'm doing with Soundflow that I didn't show and it was primarily talking about the routing to the parallel drum, snare, toms kind of setup. So on my mix bus or my my faders, my mixing, this is my these are my my aux tracks from mixing. So everything's routed, my routing tracks, I guess if you want to call them, or my, my mix faders. So everything's routed here from all the different audio tracks. And like I was saying yesterday, when I go and I hit my submix VCA over here for buses, it spills all of these to 16 faders in front of me. So again, every single time I get into the mix, I have my vocal track on fader 9, my parallel vocal on fader 10, and so on and so on. So over here, my drums are all over on 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So yesterday I showed you how I'm doing all of my drum routing, and so I just want to show a little bit a quick in-depth thing. I'm going to kind of talk about what it does, but basically you can see on a default session, bring, like bringing everything in, it comes in with links one channel one and it would probably go one two three i just dumbed it down to one here for everybody and then the output and then i don't have anything on the plugins for inserts i don't use sends for parallel busing um, i i don't i found it over the years that um, the summing mixers there's a phase thing that happens um, i don't know if if it's legit but to me i hear it so i multi-output everything so as people know like when you come here you know you can go in and go output and you can send it to a bus and I send mine to my drums and then you know later on you can come back and say oh wait I want to make this go to my kick and my snare and my toms and whatever else you, and this is by the shift command alt I believe I'm on a Windows setup keyboard for Mac just because I know the shortcuts but but basically you can multi output. And so I multi route everything to these faders. Um, so what's going on now, let me get this back to there, is when you come into SoundFlow, again, we'll do that. When I come into SoundFlow here, let's just select all the drums and I'm gonna go do my drum create. So that's gonna, let me get rid of this drums group right there. I don't need that one yet. I might change this up down the road. I might make a default drum group that has some trigger aux tracks already set up, but I think it might be easier to actually make a trigger output and set the buses. Um, I, I'm still trying to figure out a way to get all of my folder groups set up in advance, but you have to have something in a folder to make it work. Otherwise, I wouldn't even have to create the VCA groups, but we'll get to that point. Of, we'll get down that road sometime another day. So. Basically, I've selected all my drums, and I'm gonna I'm gonna hit drum create, and it's gonna go and get rid of the input. It's gonna change the output. It's gonna route the output to drums. It's gonna color code it. It's gonna move it to a folder, and it's gonna make a VCA group over here called drums. So we'll do that and get started, and then I'm gonna show you quickly how I do the parallel routing and and what it does. So sound flows work in. It goes out here, moves everything. Again, if, if anybody knows how to color code after the fact when it's created, that'd be great. Let me know because what I'd like to do is these two groups here, I'd like to have color coded to my drum groups and so on with bass and everything else. I don't know how to do it. I've been trying, can't figure it out. It doesn't seem to do it after the fact, but if anybody's smarter than Soundflow, let me know. So now we've got our VCA drums and our drum folder with all of our drums and, and stuff in it. So I'm gonna move the VCA over to here. This is another one I'd love to be able to do where once I get all my VCA selected, you hit a VCA button and it moves everything in line. Here it would be like drums, you know, vocals, bass, whatever in order that you put it in with one button. I'm pretty sure it's capable, but I don't know. Um, so now we've got our kick snare everything routed to our drums to the main drums but i know that i'm going to run parallel kick parallel snare and i'm going to send toms and the reason why i do that is i have my main drum bus and my main drums get their processing it goes through and it does their their thing um right now again i'm doing control hub and um <laughs> repping my friend over here and so this is this is where everything comes in and 
basically I'm going to route these to the parallel kicks, parallel snare, and parallel toms. The reason I do that is again, I, I want to be able to go in and when I'm automating, I'll have all all of these tracks in front of me so if I have a tom ride I can ride the tom if I need just a little bit more snare and I don't want to push the drums up I can just ride the drum or ride the snare up just a little bit so this is why I route things this way so over here we're gonna to go to our kicks and again you have to be in this view um, with sound flow but I'm gonna go back to my initial VCA routing and what that looks like just to let you guys see the deck I'm gonna bring up here so I've got all of these scripts that I kind of pulled and, and created and, and made my own, um, pulling from like the colors, you know, it sets the color first and then it assigns the outputs and it selects no input. Then it creates the VCA group, moves it to a folder, and then I've got it toggled to close it down. Um, I'm pretty sure in here somewhere I, is, is where I can add the color to make it color coded, but again, haven't figured out that session. But now I've got a drum route and a drum create and a drum add and I've got a kick molt and all these different things that I've got added to my deck and the deck looks like we've got up here I'm gonna go to our let's see it is our initial routing VCA group so you can see here that I've got my drum create and my bass and my synths and everything else and then I've got this little guy here to delete active groups if I've got a session where the group is you know don't need it just hit it it's gone and and then colors I can get to real quick. So that's basically it for the deck. So now when we come back here, we're gonna go and select uh, our kick drum for our parallel. So it's gonna route these, kick, these kicks to the kick uh, uh, parallel bus. So we run that, does its thing, sets the output. And now when you go back to this, you'd see that it's got a plus sign. So then we go here, I go to snare, I do the same thing, run it. I forgot the snare B over here, so we'll run that in a second. And then I'll go to this guy, run that one. And again, it's running all of its magic. And then the toms, we're gonna run the toms to the parallel toms. So I've got one that's called parallel toms. <clears throat> and I don't run my parallel drum bus. The only thing I generally put into that is the room. Um, I don't like to get things really super washy, so we'll run this guy as well. So now we've got everything sent the way we want it to send, and you can see that it's got the plus signs, and so if I were to go here and turn on my artist mix and basically bring up the VCA group, I can go and hit buses. I'll pull down my buses and pull everything down because I don't need all that stuff up yet. And now everything's at Unity, so it's gonna be really loud, but you can see that everything's working and I can you know, blend things up and make it work for mixing. So that is how I do my drums. And I will also put up here across all the kicks or all the, all the drums, I run a Q3 plugin um, which I've got a little plugin set up here that says plugins, and then I will go Q3, and this one is set up for a 50 hertz um, filter, so it gets rid of some of the mud at the beginning there. So and it's it's very subtle, but that is basically how I route the multi outputs for the drums. Um, and like I was saying in the other video, I can go into the SSL uh, 360 mode and basically pull all the faders down, sit here and move along each one of them. Sadly, it's not tracking here within the session. There is a shortcut behind that I understand where I can go into the channel. I actually don't even know if it's gonna work, but let's see, we'll go there, we go to inserts, and we go to SSL 4K, and now it's here. And I believe, since I'm still in the mode, it works now where it tracks, but as you can see, the plugin itself is not moving, but it's moving on, on the faders here. I don't really look at the plugin here anymore. I just look down at the uh, UF1 and the UC1 and go from there, use your ears, right? Um, and then you can bring up the SSL 360 as well, which would load up and then you know, as it's there, you'll see it's, um, uh, it's not here in the session, but um, 
SSL 360 will load up and, and you have everything, but it's being blocked right now, so I can't bring it down. Let's see. Yeah, I can't get it for everybody to see, but let's see. Let's bring that down here. And anyway, so SSL 360 runs, and um, I can I have it up on my big screen here in front of me so I can see it if I need to, but it's really nice to just kind of go through it and say, okay, drums, usually I can leave everything at Unity within Pro Tools and now go into the SSL 360 software or leave the SSL 360 at Unity and then come back and and go into my um, tracks, pull up my, my um, VCAs and basically go through here and go drums and all my drums spill over and I can I can get all my drums exactly where I want them and then fine tune it in 360. So it's a really, really fast and effective setup. So anyways, thanks again for watching. Trying to get as many videos out as I can. Um, thanks for the comments. Keep it up. Subscribe and we'll talk later. Cool.